um, use this really cool resource. It's called opensourceshakespeare.org. You can see it right here, and this is the landing page. Uh, if we just go to the play that we want to go to, so uh, Romeo and Juliet, these are alphabetized. So here's Romeo and Juliet. We click on that. And then this takes us to the play. The cool thing is that we can see any scene. We can also see any character and all of their lines. So, if, for example, uh, Balthazar has very few lines, but if we click on him, you'll notice that he's got a few lines and they're all in Act 5, Scene 1. So if we look through any of these, we can see what he says. Most of these, um, in fact, I believe all of them... Oh, no, this one. See, whenever there's ellipses, those three dots, that means that there's more to it than what's just there. So if we click on this and we open it all up, then we get to see the entire speech. And we see it in the context of the other words. So, if you are doing your essay about a character, I really recommend um, going straight to the, uh, the whole play and then looking at the, the exact words of, of your character. So, you're going to go straight to Romeo and Juliet, and then pick whichever character you have decided to work with. Um, and then you find all of his speeches, and you can quickly get to all of them. There's one more feature that's kind of useful, and that is concordance. So maybe you remember a thing like, um, you remember a particular line from Benvolio, uh, or from Romeo, uh, like, Oh, teach me which is Romeo's line. Well, if you do that, you can find that it occurs in a bunch of different places. Um, but if you scroll down, these are all alphabetized, so probably want to put it up at the end. Um, and then in that word, you can see this little phrase that appears there. And there it is. Thou canst not teach me to forget, right there. So you write in a phrase, and then you can find it in the concordance. You also notice that it shows up, this idea of teaching shows up also here, which is kind of cool, too. Um, so anyway, enjoy Open Source Shakespeare. It's a really great source. Uh, see you later.